Hey y'all, so the video got cut off. Um, if you're seeing this, subscribe. So this is part two. This emperor would get praises from his family for, um, you know, being in third party situations, always having different holes, having, they, they would praise this person, give them a lot of attention for pretty much being like in a player type energy. So yeah, and it was like, they would watch them just to make sure that, hey, okay, he's, he's still celebrating, right? He's still doing, he's still doing stuff to keep him away from his destiny, right? You know what I'm saying? They were like trying to ensure that this person would not step into their fullest, into his fullest potential. This person would always be in this lustful type energy. That's what they were trying to ensure. Um, because for some reason, somehow they were benefiting off of this person being heartbroken and feeling as though they would never find true love. This, these were, this, this was this, um, emperor's hidden enemies. It was their own family. They were Jedi mind tricking this man to believe that it was cool, cute, and, um, a reward to be in a lustful energy or in a, you know, player like always, you know, fucking one bitch to next bitch type thing. Like they, and that's how they call them. Not to say anybody's bitch, but that's just how they call them. That's how they, that's how they put this, put it in his mind that, he would never find a real woman that there is no such thing as a, a real woman you gotta dog him out type thing this was a Jedi mind trick so let's see what's this secret um, being revealed secrets being revealed this high priestess empress here could be revealing secrets right now this person could be really, um, you sh this person could be up on some type of platform and could be saying what's really going on behind the scenes. Um, this is someone who they, this is someone who, um, the family could have made this person like reject this person and get in a defensive energy with this person to keep this person, you know, stuck. And in a like sac they made this person sacrifice this connection. And so now that is being exposed here. What's this secrets? Secrets. Yeah, because they were codependent upon this person's energy in some kind of way. Because they don't either they're either codependent upon this person's energy or they're codependent upon this person's money. These people don't have a lot with the five of pentacles. So in this person is this emperor is the type of person who will give to everybody just to be able to say that they were given to you know, just for the attention here. Just for the attention. Because that's the, they know, this family knows that this person likes that, likes to feel important here, likes to feel needed, you know? So, um, yeah, so, yeah. That's something here where the secret's gonna be revealed. This is something that's being revealed within a community within a within a foundation here there's something there's some type of truth coming out with that four of wands yeah finish your food okay yeah i feel like secretly this person could be also holding on to this empress here um but that's about to be revealed as well because this person yeah, this person is, um, this empress is very single. She's attractive. She's abundant. She has, you know, what she needs. And this part, this emperor could have betrayed his, his own self with the hidden truth. He could have betrayed his own true emotions for this queen of wands who is, you know, showing up as his match. King of wands to the queen of wands. Um, yeah. And this person was ultimately their wish fulfillment. Ultimately, this was this person's wish fulfillment here. Yeah, and this person could have went king of swords, could have been playing a lot of mind games with this person here. And so now, you know, everything, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's also someone else who was involved as well there was somebody else who was pushed inside into the forefront of this person's face to keep this person um holding back from this empress as well there also could have been like a mother energy that was holding on to this person to try and keep this person from um keep this person turning their back on this connection 
they were doing this for a long time, keeping them, keeping this person stuck and stagnant, um, away from true love for a long time. Because this person could look at this person as someone who, you know, fills the void for them. This mother may not have someone, so she looks as if, at this emperor as somebody who can fill that void for her. Um, yeah. But I feel like somebody's about to go towards what they, they're about to express themselves. Yeah, somebody's about to express themselves. This emperor could get, be getting ready to express himself to this empress or to this family. Someone's just been s s caught up on this bond. What's the hidden truth? Yeah. Hoping that, you know, they don't want you, they don't. They don't want you to be, they or they could be really ghosting this codependent energy here. Because if this is independent self-defense shit, this is somebody who's extremely codependent. And they're ghosting that. They're ghosting that energy of just like this needy energy. There's some, there's some needy people around him within this toxic family situation that's been keeping this person ungrounded. Somebody's been, um, somebody's always been in these like... They've always, they've always wanted to move forward and reconcile and speak their truth, okay? But they haven't been able to because they've been hiding from their true self. So what's the hidden truth? Yeah, they want a passionate new beginning here. They want to, they want to, they want to follow their happiness with the sunshine here. This person, this person knows where they're happy at. They know where they can be themselves at. Yeah. So what's the hidden truth? Yeah, but right now, what the, what's staying stuck is really hurting this person. Not being able to move forward is really hurting this person. It's gotten them, it's making them feel even more in remorse, even more just uh, unstable and off balance. They're all in their head right now just thinking about how they could have hurt this empress or whatever the case may be here. Yeah, and how this person is, how this person... This empress, this emperor is in this Knight of Cups energy. They want to come and be expressive of, expressive of their love. This empress is in this Seven of Wands energy. She's like, nah, back up, because I don't got time for that uncertainty energy. That's the energy I feel like she's like, you know what? I can feel how uncertain you are. Um, you know, I think that maybe she's like, you know, maybe you should do a little bit more healing here. Maybe you need to just, you know, focus on yourself because that's what I'm doing. After, you know, you betrayed me, you ended this situation, you ghosted me, I'm healing. So don't come over here with that dumb shit. Yeah, way, way down because that's a burden here for this empress. That's, that's, that's a burden, someone coming around and not being genuine with themselves with this hidden truth somebody doesn't want to be honest no she doesn't want to deal with that and so with this five of cups in reverse it's i feel like she could be avoiding trying to get in this like very more remorseful energy she's like nah i'm not i'm not going to feel bad and feel sorry and all that no i'm going to just keep on going and keep on pushing I'm gonna keep on moving forward, you know what I'm saying? And this that's that's the energy that I feel like this person could be in too. They're trying to find the strength to move forward. They're trying to find the strength to move forward. This Empress is moving forward. Um yeah, and somebody here is just stressed out. They're stressed out. They stressing the fuck out. Yeah, because it's because somebody is is like Casper on their ass, like poof, like gone. And um, I feel like this also someone also is weighed down by these emotions here. They're weighed down by, you know, not being able to like, properly express themselves, being stuck in this lustful energy. Somebody doesn't want to be in this lustful energy anymore. They feel like that's a burden for them as well. They've been through so much with all this lustful energy. There hasn't been a source of love ever since they've gotten into that lustful energy. They've always been stuck and left out in the cold, used and abused. 
So let's see, what's this caught up card? And I also feel like this person feels like they betrayed their own selves getting caught up in this situation because they know that they weren't, they weren't being honest with themselves. They were just doing what everybody, what this family was Jedi mind tricking them to think was the right way to do. They were, they were, this family was putting it in their head. Oh no, you gotta be, you gotta be like this. You gotta be like that. You gotta ghost them. You gotta, you gotta act like you don't have no interest in them. And that's going to make them want you more type energy. Like they were giving this person bad advice on person, on purpose to keep this person away from true love. So this person was possibly thinking, you know, heartbroken and confused not knowing, you know, what to do because they're following the bad advice that they're getting, thinking that it's what's supposed to happen. And this empress was not responding in a way that they were instructed that she would. But this person didn't realize these people were people that he needed to guard himself from because they were purposely tricking him because they knew who that empress was to him before he knew. They knew the moment when they saw them two together who they were to each other so let's see what's the caught up card what's the caught up card what's the caught up card okay so somebody's getting caught up with this this is a mother figure here with the queen of cups this mother figure is getting caught up with this ma with this magic being manipulative and, and causing conflict here somebody's purpose has been purposely causing conflict between this connection purposely feeding this person lies um about this connection and about this uh this empress here they've been purposely you know being judgmental and, and casting wrong judgments you know could have been possibly paying people to lie on this person um because it's showing up next to the casual yeah this person was being manipulative and keeping this person in the confused headspace trying to weigh this person down with the ten of pentacles poking out here Trying to make it seem as though that other person was going to weigh this person down. King of Swords, this, I feel as though this person is realizing that, excuse me, they needed to cut this energy off, this Queen of Cups, or distance themselves from this Queen of Cups in order to um, get back in alignment with them, their own life purpose. Because this Queen of Cups was purposely, you know, being, she was jealous of the fact that that possibly her son was about to find real love and she still had not. Yeah, she was jealous that this person was a wish fulfillment. This queen of wands here, this very sexy, alluring and attractive energy, someone who was a complete match. She was jealous of that woman. She or she was jealous of the fact that her of her son actually finding someone. So, she stepped in to cause um, confusion, chaos, conflict, and had a bunch of other people come in behind her and back her up. She could have actually been doing magic, or she could have just been in a very manipulative headspace. And so this person being in this, you know, oh, that's my mom, you know, this could have been a mama's boy. And of course, if the mama don't like the person, it's pretty much done and dead and over with. So this person ignored their own feelings, not realizing that this person was a secret enemy of theirs and also was a part of a karmic lesson that they had to learn. You know, this person, you know, sometimes people love us as long as we are doing what we need them to do, doing what they need us to do. You know what I'm saying? They love us where when we're in a small box, but if we grow beyond that box, then it becomes a problem. And that can be that can be anybody, you know what I'm saying? It all comes from the vessel and the source. If the source of that information is from somebody who's not healed, someone who's always bitter, someone who's been in a dark space for a long time and haven't healed from their own past relationships, of course they're not going to want to see the person.